All right, let's get to it. I've got the Mantis God starter deck here today because I want to do a lot of overkill damage. Okay, what have we got today? What do you have for sale? Wow, these are trash. Uh, Dire Wolf could be good for getting some overkill damage. And Magpie is great because I can put that on a ringworm and then only have to get rid of one of them. Or something like that. I will make good use of these pelts. What are you going to do with the pelts? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. Let's just move on. Uh, campfire. Yes. It is an attack buff. Well, <laughs> I'm going to risk it. We're going to do it. Oh, okay. I quit. It's fine. We don't need Mantis God. We don't even need him. Now our <laughs> Now the remnants of our stutter deck is just ringworms. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm not mad about that. You're mad about that. Let me summon a dire wolf. Uh so what's gonna get me the most overkill? If I put dire wolf here now, then uh we'll take two, and then we'll do two, and then yeah, that'll that might be good, I don't know. And then I have a magpie. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Good job. Two overkill damage. We need uh, to get more than two overkill damage at this next battle, that's for sure. Um. Wow, okay, it really wants me to take a cockroach here. Uh. You know, that would be kind of funny. Put magpie on one ringworm and cockroach on another, and then fuse them together. I activate my polymerization card to fuse together my two ringworms. I don't know what those campfire guys were thinking. If I saw a mantis god, the last thing I would want to do is put that thing in my mouth and eat it. What a bunch of weirdos. I can't afford it. I can't afford the elusive golden belt. <laughs> I activate the spell card from my hand, Pot of Greed. This card allows me to draw two new cards from the top of my deck and add them into my hand. Oh, cool. I'm gonna lose to Kingfishers. Awesome. Another attack buff. You know what that means. We're risking it. Let's go. Alright, let's just throw here. Uh, you know, throwing for content. Pretty big strategy, honestly. Uh, and then, let's try that again. This time, let's not lose our <laughs> Mantis God immediately. Oh, yeah, here, sure. Let me make this easier for you, Leshy. Here, take this elk. Actually, that doesn't make it easier, because it's going to attack first. All right, whatever. What? Why didn't he take it? What? Did he change his mind because it moved? <laughs> Wait, what? Is this the secret synergy of the movement sigils? Is this their true purpose? I was trying to throw and now I can't because I'm on pace with his damage. What the heck is going on? Stop moving out. He can't take it. It's too fast. It's too fast for him. Now I know why it's called Sprinter. I didn't know- I didn't even know that this was a thing. Wow, turns out movement sigils are quite correct. Uh, well that'll be a decent amount of overkill. Not... enough, but, you know. Alright, uh, maybe the prospector will assist us in, uh, acquiring a golden pelt. This one. It doesn't matter. They all have the same thing. Oh, it's g -g -g gold! Let's go. I'm rich. Dang, Leshy taught his dogs how to swim? Huh. Good for him. Uh, just kidding. I don't care. 
What do we have here? A health buff. Good. If you guys are so hungry, eat this thing. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I'm sure they enjoyed the meal and will be fine. Oh, where did the friendly campfire men go? What happened to them, I wonder? Prospector, no problem. I'll use Mantis God for phase one, and then I'll use the other Mantis God for phase two. By the way, thanks for the golden pelt earlier. Uh, I don't have a ma okay. Well, I summon my squirrel in attack mode. Then I sacrifice my squirrel to tribute summon Mantis God in attack mode. When Mantis God is summoned, his special ability allows me to add another copy of Mantis God to my hand. Now, Mantis God attacks you directly. Dude, I wish Yu-Gi-Oh was still good. Marvelous. Mmm, delicious. Ah, Amoeba. I'm gonna get yelled at in the comments for not picking Mantis God here, but... Amoeba. I sacrifice two bone tokens to summon my Amoeba in attack mode. Then... Amoeba's special ability allows it to be treated as three tributes for the tribute summon of a level five or higher monster. I mean, level uh, two blood or... Yeah, it needs some work. We'll, we'll get there. Oh, another attack buff. Sure, I could give it to Mantis God, but Amoeba... Amoeba sweep. Amoeba sweep! Alright, Goobert. Give me another amoeba. Oh, brilliant. Oh, we don't need the Myco. Amoeba, that sigil's not helpful. Unless I want to kill this with overkill. Hold on a second. Amoeba, you might be onto something. Let's see. Let's see what amoeba's got for us. Correct. Good work, Amoeba. Now his strange frog won't even show up. We don't even have to worry about that trap. Brilliant strategizing, Amoeba. That was a genius level play. Even I didn't think of it. <gasps> Wait, that means... You know what that means. Amoeba. Uh, see, this also makes sense, because Amoeba knows that it doesn't even matter what sigil he has, we've already beaten Leshy. Good work, Amoeba. Very profound. Surely, Goobert. Surely you can copy your own work. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Goobert, now we're talking. See, as a fellow goo, uh, thing, Goobert understands Amoeba. Amoeba and Goobert understand each other. See, putting this extra goo on Amoeba makes sense. It's, it's lore accurate, okay? Amoeba is quite... quite goo. Goo-wee mama. Let's do bone tokens? I don't know. I got a lot of bone cards. There's Amoeba, there's Turkey Vulture, there's Smack. Okay. Amoeba. I'll take a two blood. Maybe we'll get like Rat King. That could be good for getting bone tokens. Oh my. Dude, I'm a freaking. Is that normal? I feel like when he micos them, they don't have the goo effect anymore. But this time he did. Look at that. Amoeba's goo can transcend the normal mechanics of inscription. I cannot even, like, see his stats, almost. <laughs> they are obscured by goo and blood. Look at this. This card is covered in bodily fluids. It's disgusting. We covered our goo card in goo. <laughs> Perfect. Just enough bone tokens to summon an amoeba. What a calculated move. Unfortunately, amoeba is not in our opening hand. But I will... Get him anyways. There he is. What does he got? I can't even tell! I can't even see it! Okay, it's leader. Alright, what do we have here? Another amoeba, perhaps? Pelt lice, Ura Yuli, Hodag. Those are not amoeba. Can I get an amoeba? Not quite. Okay. Well, we will stall until I get amoeba then. 
It's about to be time for Amoeba Sweep. What was that? Uh, bifurcated? Okay, that's pretty strong. Oh, Amoeba wants to end this fast. Alright, get him, Amoeba. Sick him. Corpse maggots, you're not Amoeba. Alright, you just, you're never gonna be Amoeba. Good job, Amoeba. You're doing well. Okay, well, that was maybe a little too fast, Amoeba. Maybe a little too quickly. What does he got now? Oh, oh, Amoeba wants me to summon the Ura Yuli. Good choice, Amoeba, good choice. Now Amoeba is a uh, wild bull again. All right. I am running out of uh, stinky Amoeba. You know, judging by how the card looks right now, that probably uh, checks out. All right. Good work, Amoeba. 